It's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. Play this, guys. It's your boy says D, and today we are here to check out some Family Guy videos. Now, this first one is called Chris Listens to Charles Manson Music. And the next one is immediately called Proof That Peter Griffin is a Child Abuser. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. Make sure to check that out. Also, make sure to cut my merch. All right, the link in the description down below. We're just going to go ahead and say I'm wearing a spreaded shirt, even though this is Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Lego. Boy, Chris, partying with the cool kids. I am a very proud dad right now. And look at that Connie. Jesus Christ, I bet that thing's so tight you got to call the city to get in there. And the house to myself. <laughs> Sorry. That's not good. It's definitely not. Not even gonna say nothing about that sexual joke. It was a rough one. Sorry. A lot of POV stuff. Yeah, I like to pretend it's mine down there what's doing all the slapping. Peter, how old is that girl? Uh, excuse me, won't you? <laughs> probably exactly what Jared Fogle should have did but then again it's good that he got busted because on the bright side now that he's in jail he can get all the sex he wants which is very ironic in his case <laughs> he's got to be tired of butt sex by now A lot of scumbags out today. Sometimes it can be tough to fit in with a new group of people. Yeah, I sure had my troubles when I got involved with the Boy Scouts. At no time were the campers and Mr. Griffin naked simultaneously. They merely engaged in horseplay. Did Mr. Griffin sodomize the boys? Mr. Griffin vehemently denies all allegations. Popular! <laughs> no, Connie, beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls, let's go upstairs and make out! <laughs> Oh no, Connie's been hurt. I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. No! No! What are you looking at? It's a cartoon! Cartoon prison immediately. Where? Holy wackazoli! Dad! What? Don't what me, you know what you did. Hey, I may be your husband and your dad, but I'm still a man. Hey, Meg. That doesn't go with what happened at all. No. Hey, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <laughs> Meg, come back here. I meant sex. It's about tonight. No. I don't want to... That doesn't count as a laugh. That wasn't a laugh. That doesn't count. Oh, boy. Hey, Peter, the last time I left you alone with one of our children. <gasps> it's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. I was kind of right. Chris's girlfriend has kids, but he's happy. And she seems like she's into him. Plus, she's... she's hot. Yes, she is. I bit my lip off. But hey, there ain't no rules in a tickle fight. Yes, <laughs> stop! I'm tickled! <laughs> Jimmy, there you are! Who the f are you? Get away from our son! But Mr. Barrington told me to... Who's Mr. Barrington? From the club. What club? You're in a lot of trouble, mister. Yeah! Me names. You're 43 and you just assaulted our neighbor's child. This is a very serious situation. Well, maybe you should have just had an abortion, Lois. Would that make you happy if I was never born? What? I'm going to prison, aren't I? Well, at least he knows. And knowing is half the battle. Hi, 
Hi, Chris. Oh, hey, Kristen. What's up? Not much. I wanted to know if you're gonna go to the dance on Friday. No, nah, probably not. Oh, that's too bad. I was thinking maybe you and I could go together. Oh, that's sweet. But like I said, I I don't think I'm gonna go. Well, if you change your mind. I said no. Okay. Jeez. Bye, Chris. Uh, Chris, that very attractive girl just asked you out, and you said no. Well, sorry, Brian. She just doesn't do it for me. I'm hungry. I might grab a bite to eat. We all just ate, right? What's wrong with that kid? Why wouldn't he go out with that girl? Who knows? Maybe he's gay. What? No. We well, never know. I say we find out. You think he could be? Hey, I've been right about these things before. Remember what I said in 2009? Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Stewie, I'm telling you, there's no way Chris is gay. Oh, why? Because he never hit on you? God, the ego. Hey, Chris, what's up? I'm just relaxing, listening to some of Charles Manson's music. What's up with you guys? Actually, Brian and I are taking a survey, and we wanted to see if you had a few minutes. Sure, go ahead. Okay, question one. What night are the Tony Awards? Tony Danza has awards? Uh, Name an appropriate price to pay for jeans. Um, five dollars? No, gay. Yeah, what that's year weird. did Bette Midler release You've Got to Have Friends? Oh, 1972. And it was fabulous! Oh, not necessarily gay, just a fan of good music. <laughs> I don't know. You know, that don't make him gay, but that's that's questionable. Yeah, you know I mean, you have to have a long talk with homie after that one, you know what I'm saying? Chris, are you gay? What? No, I'm not gay. Well, then why didn't you go out with that girl? <laughs> why would I? I have everything I need in that department on my computer. You have 28 windows of porn playing simultaneously? So Bruh, I am super surprised he has that few. I keep at least 63. Which is coincidental, because that's like my favorite... I was about to say that's my favorite sex position, but... We're gonna edit that out. It's a little bit too tasteless. Or not tasteless enough. Sometimes I pretend I'm at the security desk at the mall, and everyone at the mall is banging each other. Chris, don't you see? You're so desensitized by all this porn, you're, you're not even interested in actual girls. What are you doing? I'm taking this, and we are going to help you start thinking about sex like a normal teenager. All right, I'll give it a shot. But it's not going to be easy. I had a hell of a time getting off sugar. Chris, can you pass the syrup? Oh, you want the syrup, old man? What the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nice attached head, Meg. Body, throw potatoes. <laughs> Winner oh. declared! He may have lost his head, but at least Meg went down. All right, Chris, it's going to take a few steps to get you off hardcore porn. And the first step is softcore porn, where nothing really happens. Oh, wow, she is just riding that guy's belly button. Yep, that's all we had. In... You could watch this at any time? No, just Friday at 11.45 p.m. And it was free? No, $45 a month. Well, what was playing the other 200 hours per week? Uh, mostly Daryl. The movie Daryl. What? Bruh, I ain't even gonna lie. As somebody who has been perverted for a long, long time, you know what I'm saying? I, I used to indulge in the softcore porn I didn't like. Nobody watched softcore porn because they wanted to. Didn't have any money to pay for the real stuff. The internet speeds was so slow because like AOL and DSL was all they had back then. You'd get to watch like a second and then wait 30 seconds for another second to load. And then when that second loaded, you get to see it and you had to rewind it back to the first second. So now you get two seconds and then you wait another 30 seconds to the third second was, was, was loaded. And then you get to watch the three seconds, and then you gotta wait another three seconds and rewind it back to see the three or four seconds. It was terrible. I can't even call it diet porn. And you didn't get the chews. I remember one time, man, I watched like this Star Trek softcore porn. Star Trek, it was Deep Six Nine. <laughs> I think it was Deep Space Nine, but you know, you you get the pun. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't attractive. 
It's a friendship that goes strong even till this day. Was it any good? It was okay. Grandpa, what are you doing here? Using the bathroom. Where do you keep the nets that you put on the bottom of guy's balls to stop him from dunking in the water? What? What do you mean, what? Where do you keep the nets that you put on the bottom of guy's balls to stop them from dunking in the water? Just pull your balls to the side like a regular person. Chris? Welcome to the lingerie department. What are we doing here? When I was young, seeing these half-naked mannequins was all I needed to get me going. What's the end game? Get you going to what? Sex with inanimate objects? That doesn't count? Came here. Him walking around Macy's with a chub? No, we've got to reset his arousal meter. He needs to be able to use his imagination again. Any of these mannequins doing anything for you, Chris? Uh, I don't know. I guess the one without a head is pretty cool. All right, that's... that's something. And that bin of chopped up ones over there, that could be okay. Especially the one that looks kind of afraid. There you go, look at you. Sounds like someone is ready for that date. Do you gentlemen need any help? No, thank you, dear. We're just trying to get my brother to full mast. All right, well, that... that went south. Like maybe a Clifford? Peter, get out of here! Clifford? No, not now! Quagmire Clifford now? Ugh, just read him the story. Clifford was just too big for the bathtub. Isn't he big, Peter? Clifford, big! So they decided to hose him in the yard instead, but Clifford couldn't fit through the door. See that, Peter? Finally. All right, ladies, I guess we can... Wouldn't you know it? No! Oh my god, they took the whole roof off. Somebody did that to me, man. You gotta cut them. You know what I mean? That's the only that's the only way. I got bad bad ones come over and you you the story? Ah, <laughs> ah, fight my child. Like you going you gonna catch these hands today. <laughs> Why is that a bloody cat? Everybody thinks they can kick me out? No. Well, who gets the last laugh now? I get to sleep with all my stuff in a storage unit on the highway access road. Nope. That's not, that's not safe. And where you get that scooter from? Okay. Can't go to bed till you make one. Oh. All right, just gotta make one. Am I the only person that's done that? Like, okay, you can't go to bed until you, you, you do this. And then it's hard. So you don't do it. I'm going to sleep. <sighs> Something bad's going to happen if you don't do it. I've never seen it before. I don't know. Stewie, she's got your time machine. But don't drag that down the stairs or anything. Thank God, everything's back to normal. Two. Oh. Gross. Oh. I tell you to clean your rooms, and the first thing you do is put all your science projects in Stewie's closet. Mom, we did Stop arguing and get rid of it. And give me those glasses. They're cluttering up your face. I need them to see. They're not bringing me joy. You realize there are four of us and one of her. If we rushed her all at once... That's not going to yeah. work. She's clearly developed the strength of the insane. What did you say, Chris? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. No. Chris, I will not have your comic strip anger cluttering up my house. It's negative and it ruins my joy. Get it out of here. Now you've done it. You've made me 1930s work whistle angry. <laughs> Well, I didn't oh. say anything. You just did. Your voice, it's cluttering up oh. my space. Get out. But get out of my house. Oh. You know, Lois, one could argue that your bra is clutter. Nice try, dirtbag. Leave. Figured it was going to happen anyway. Might as well go out on my terms. She ain't even say nothing.
I cluttered my pants. It did not kindle joy. <sighs> well, that does it. I got rid of all the clutter. I made order out of chaos, and it's beautiful. Ah, oh, there's even an echo in here now. I'm so happy. I'm very unhappy. My house is at peace, so I am at peace. You're all alone and sad. Simplicity oh. is good for the soul. Your soul is as empty as this house. This house. This house. Why get scared? a fun birthday party, huh, Stewie? That kid was Indian and 11 years old. Where are you finding my friends? Oh, someone's a little cranky. Here, let me put on the radio. Talking about the club, looking around the club, pimping at the club, emphasizing club. Ugh, this is awful. Baby, you take Oh, isn't that cute? My little Stewie likes Anne. Ugh, this is awful. Baby, Oh, isn't that cute? My little Stewie likes Anne Murray. She sounds like an angel. It's like her voice is putting my entire body in her She sounds like Herbert the pervert. Oh. And oh, what happens every time there I go. You like that, Stewie? You like Anne Murray's music? Do I? I've never known such happiness. This must be what it's like for you when you're buying potatoes or scraping your heels or smushing on makeup for a sad night out. All right, Rupert, you're ready to get lost in some Anne. This is where the peaceful waters flow. Spread your tiny wings and fly. What a woman. To think Canada's got her and we have Kelly Clarkson going to town at a Waffle House. Matt. What the hell? Are you listening to Anne Murray? Uh, I am experiencing Anne Murray. Why? That music is complete crap. Um, excuse me? It's all just vapid, overproduced tripe. It has no edge whatsoever. Yeah, neither does a soft summer breeze or a letter from an old friend. I'm pretty sure envelopes have edges. Fine, an email. Dick. Don't waste your time. I'm not going to change my mind. I don't know, Bri. I can make things happen when I want to. Just ask my twin brother. <gasps> and here's baby boy number one. I understand you've decided to name him Stewie. One more to go, and here he... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Did Dave not make it? What the hell is all this? This is history, Brian. A key moment in the history of happiness. Have a seat. <sighs> Have a seat where? No! I cried a tear. Call me wearing a blouse. Is that cleavage? I don't know why, but the fact that his shoes match his tuxedo... Uh, or whatever the hell he's wearing, it makes it worse. Why is homie dressed like a female social worker out this month? You wiped it dry. No, I didn't. I was confused. Still are. You cleared my mind. Said no. I sold my soul to stand alone again to face the world. Out on my own again You put me high Upon a pedestal So high that I could almost see eternity Some hardcore right? Wow, thank you for turning me on to something so amazing Hey, I'm just glad you enjoyed it and I'm sure Buzz Lightyear would have enjoyed it if you'd bothered to show up. Hey, how would you like to go to my apartment and beyond? You know, this is definitely a mystery song for me. It's so upbeat, but the lyrics are so dark. I'm, I'm sorry, are we both listening to Snowbird as recorded by Miss Anne Murray? Yeah, the woman in the song is trying to cope with getting older, and she feels trapped because she knows she can't do anything. What I hear is that the woman is starting to hate life. You know the line, now I feel such emptiness within? 
Yeah, I know the song. Well, Anne Murray feels old. And then to make things worse, the snowbird comes around every year, bringing the snow, or death, to remind her that no matter what she does, her fate's already written. Brian, the snowbird has nothing to do with time or fate. Well, I disagree. Look, there's only one way to settle this. Only the artist knows the true meaning of their art. You just know where she lives at. What? Are you whistling snowbird? Yeah. That's awesome. Whoa, 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 why do you get to ring it? Because I was into her first. Let's flip for it, or... or I can't believe you did that. I cannot believe you just did that. Will you stop it? She's gonna think we're weird. Hi, can I help you? Hi, Miss Murray. My name's Brian Griffin. So, Miss Murray, the reason we came is that we have a question about Snowbird. It's about a relationship, right? No, no, it's obviously about the fear of growing old. You know, I think you're both kind of right. I guess I always thought it was about human limitation, both mental and physical. Okay, that... That just blew my face off. Well, I hope that helps. It does. Thank you so much, Miss Murray. This has been terrific. Hey, uh, before we go, you mind if I use your restroom? It's a long drive up here. No, go right ahead. Hey, you know, that was really cool how you told us what Snowbird was about. Well, you know, that's just the way I always interpreted the song. But I suppose Jean probably could have explained it better than I. Who's Jean? Jean McClellan. He wrote the song. I see. But you wrote all your other songs, right? No, all of my songs were written by other people. As a singer, I've been blessed to interpret the works of many gifted, sensitive songwriters. Oh, go home. Stewie, what the hell are you doing? She's a fraud, Brian! A fraud! She didn't write any of her songs! Well, so that's the case with a lot of singers. It's a very common industry practice. Well, then you're all a bunch of frauds, aren't you? A bunch of frauds and charlatans! You want to be a puppet? Then sing for your life, puppet! Come on, spread your tiny wings and fly away! I love forever is untrue And if I could, you know that I would fly away with you All right, class, today we're going to be talking about variables. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so petite? As fatter than a swarm possum with the mumps. Okay, it's just a rear end. We all have one. Mine just happens to be a hot Brazilian woman's. No, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at Griffin's shoes. Why? What's wrong with them? I don't even know what those are. What's Teslic? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Are they really that bad? <laughs> are you kidding? They're terrible. Man, high school is rough. This year it's sneakers. Last year it was all about being overweight and wearing a baseball cap. Hey guys, sure hope we win the big game on Saturday. Get lost, dork. Yeah, gain some weight, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of all the years to be trim and well-hatted. This portion of the Channel 5 News at 6 is brought to you by condoms. Put us on backwards a little bit, then put us on the right way. You know what I mean? Because outside look like inside out. Outside in look like inside out on a condom. Mom, Dad, I need to get new sneakers. What? I just bought you new sneakers. I know, but I need cooler ones. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Savage. That's it. I'm getting those sneakers. After all, shoes make the man. Gentlemen, take your marks. Oh, come on, Dad. There's no cash in here. Oh. Busty. Can I get you anything else? Uh, two more Cokes, please. Could you excuse me? A waiter with more suppler boobs and less of a mustache? It's a restaurant. I can't order what I want? What? What? Damone, it's Peter. I'm at my date and I left my wallet at home. Will you please borrow your mom's car, drive to my house, get my wallet, and bring it back here? Jeez, I'm really kind of busy. Come on, just do me this one favor. All right, but you owe me for this. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? It's me, Chris. You know me. Why are you talking like a bad guy? Listen, I saw you steal money from Mom's purse. Oh. I won't tell Mom and Dad about the money if you promise to do whatever I say. Meg, this is how a lot of porn starts. I mean it, Chris. I'll tell them. Mom! <laughs>
Christic money out of the... Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. I thought you'd see it that way. Here's a list of stuff I need you to do for me. Shouldn't have taken that money, Chris. Okay, Meg. I've cleaned your room and I did your homework. Can I be done now? Oh, no. There's a lot more things I need you to do for me. There are? Like what? Well, now you have to watch An Officer and a Gentleman with me. And that's it? <laughs> no. At the end, when Richard Gere carries Deborah Winger out of the paper mill, you have to read what's on this index card. <laughs> that's gonna be you someday, Meg. I know it will! I just know it will! Okay, Chris, I want to wear contacts, but I'm too squeamish to put them in myself, so you need to help me. Really? Is it that hard? My eyes are too sensitive. It's like they overreact or something. Okay. Ah, what happened to your eye? Don't worry about it. Just put the lens in. But where do I put it? The pupil's gone. Your eye just looks like a ping pong ball. I think it rolled up into my head. Look, just just do the other one. No, I can't see anything. Ah! 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 I don't like this. Just wear your stupid glasses. Chris, I'm blind. I'm sorry, Meg. All right, good. Now I want you to call them as if you're their dead baby. No way. That was the last thing on your list. I, I can't do this anymore. Well, you should have thought of that before you stole money out of Mom's purse. I own you. Now, here's my post office key. I need you to go downtown. Yeah, just go tell your parents you stole the money you put or and, and then give it back to them. And get the stuff from my P.O. box. You know what? No, that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing any more of your crap, Meg. Chris, don't you see? You have no choice. I'll just go tell Mom and Dad about the money, and they'll ground your ass for a year. I don't care. Tell them, because I'm not even going to be here. I'm going to run away, and no one will ever see me again. Good. Go. And who's even going to miss you? You're just a little th- Aww. Hi. I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to no. see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Mr. Herbert, what's life really all about? Well, I suppose it's about trying new things. Sampling the sweet and no. the savory. No. Not being afraid to take everything life wants to throw up on into you. No! Wow, I never looked at it like that before. You Thanks, shouldn't. Mr. Herbert. No. But don't you think it's scary to try new things? No, Chris. Life is like a new baseball glove. At first, you think you're never going to get a ball in there. But then you oil it up, work your fingers around in the no. middle, and pretty soon you're pitching and catching. I, mean, I no. guess that makes sense. No! Sorry. You really know how to waste a Cialis, don't you? Oh, hi. Hey, Meg, could you tell Chris breakfast is ready? Oh, um, I, I think he got up early. He, um, said something about a fat kid rally at Little Caesars. Huh, it's not like Chris to miss breakfast. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I, I'm sure he'll be home later. Chris! What did you do with my videotapes? I had a whole system! I was trying to find a good movie to watch. I've never even heard of most of these. Jeffrey at the Park? Mikey's Scoliosis Exam? Nephew Somersault Compilation? Well, even if you never heard of them, I assume you heard of the alphabet. You want to explain to me how Sammy Popsicle comes before napping various? Hey. Hey. What, 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 what is it? I can't sleep. I'm scared of ghosts. God, it is no such thing as ghosts. Are you sure? Well, now I'm not. Come on, get in here. It's safe under here, right? I think so, but I'm not sure. I just recently started believing in ghosts. Well, I'm all done shoveling your walk, Mr. Herbert. Thanks, Chris, but there's some in here, too. Mother... Sam! Uh, that's not a laugh, all right? That's not a laugh, that was a chuckle. I, I, cause when you single, it really be like that though. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry clean, it's a dance club. It is? Well, that explains a lot. Oh, this is my jam! Bruh, why was homie dancing like he was playing Nicki Minaj? My anaconda don't in his mind or something. Like, I, well, like, he was scrubbing the ground, getting low. 
There's no reason to get that low unless you listen to either Nicki Minaj or Yin Yang Twins. Or Tiger, get a taste to like that. Yeah, I mean. If I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Harry, my name's Marty. I'm in a picture. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. Iraq lobster! Iraq lobster? This plane's going to Miami! He doesn't understand that he's still holding a gun. Turn up is good and everything, but if you have a gun, I I, I can't take you as playful anymore. Whoa, scrappy little blaze, huh? Oh my god, the fire's got a gun! Well, that's why we have the lab. Alright, that was a lab. I'll... I'll give y'all that. I wish they had labs that fast in real life! But then again, that's why we got condoms. Huh? That's real. Can I help you? Not illegal, not illegal. Show me the law, not illegal. Oh, this looks like fun! It says I have cancer. We thought it would be better if you heard it from chemicals in an egg. Uh, we're not gonna stick around to find out. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Wow, Quagmire, that's incredible! Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't, don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. in order for your penis to turn into a usable blowtorch. I'm gonna let that sink in, people. Think about that. Next time you think about not using a condom just because she's cute. Those are the ones you gotta watch out for the most. <laughs> hey, Chris, you think it's safe to drink from a fire hose? Why not, Dad? It's just water. All right, well, turn it on. I'm very thirsty. <laughs> nice job, Chris. You got my shirt wet. God, it's so damn hot. Hey, I got an idea. Let's make scalding asphalt angels. Ow, ow, no! ow, 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 ow! Second degree burns, first degree fun. Okay, who replaced my glasses with forks? I mean, they're real good for seeing forks, but not much else. All right, everyone get into a hilarious pose, so when they dig out our bodies, they'll have a good laugh. Huh, <laughs> this guy's pretty funny. <laughs> That's so real! The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about Nepal? Ooh, I like that. Ha, huh, shocker. God gets it right. Uh, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, no! but it's happening. Hey, no! I just realized. Uh, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. Hey, I just realized! I have a sister! <laughs> ha! Stan Mudge! Is there any way you can describe that to me using colorful puppets of some sort? The Nielsen box will monitor your viewing habits. <laughs> I don't like the left puppet, his chin is scary. What? What is that? Let's use our eyes to see. It puts the left. Yeah. Out of all the intelligent stuff he could have said, that's what he went with. Ocean on its scan. 
Oh, Meg, thank God I found you. Hey, remember how you borrowed my club card for the grocery store? Could you toss that up to me? Oh, you don't have to have the card. You can just give them your phone number. Oh, really? Hey, thanks, man. Hey, Meg, I like your new boyfriend. Every pot finds a lid, huh? <laughs> have fun, you kids. Hey, boys, catch me if you can. Oh, crap, I didn't realize they had bikes. <laughs> what are they going to do when they catch me? Dude, that would have been the best place for a sexual assault joke. It's funny because he's a guy. That's that's all it is. If it was a female and scantily clad and that happened, it's different. But since it's a dude who's about to get prisoned, it's funny now. It's okay. It's okay. Peter's got you. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Is my wife okay? No, the ski boots that was in the back flew up and chopped her head off. You can turn your blinker off now. It's very annoying. We now return to Home Alone with Competent Robbers. Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor here. Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding onto it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Well, now there are no witnesses. Yeah, yeah. What the? Yeah, you kids always loved your first trip to the fire station. You remember when we took Meg? don't come to funerals. Since I'm a cop, I always wind up getting hit by a black woman with a purse. You find the man who uh, did this. You what's bring your him relationship to, to Brian? You make sure this Are angel sure child right didn't funeral? die for nothing. Ma'am, Brian's a dog. You became a cop. Damn it. There's no way across. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. You're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? Oh, I'm feeling nauseous. I think I got altitude sickness. <laughs> hey, Brian, you want a pukesicle? I would love a pukesicle. It is a weird sensation to want to laugh and throw up at the same time. That's real. Those are on aisle... Hold on a sec. We're all out of binders. Ah, three. Okay, one, two... Sorry! Sorry, the board game that teaches you to be a dick. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? But actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. Help! I'm supposed to have surgery, but my doctor disappeared. Okay, Josh. This is the shot you've been waiting for. Okay, Derek. This is the shot you've been waiting for. He wants to know who you are. We seek clothes for the cold times. He says he'll take you to the clothes for herbs and meat. Well, we can probably come up with some herbs and meat, right, Peter? Peter? I'm with them now. No girls allowed. Oh, I can sign for that. Package bribe. Huh, oh, wonder what this is. You guys got a garage or something? We got like 300 boxes of these things. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of boxes. Oh, this is so weird. Look what they use to pack your book in. Shredded up pieces of your book. Okay, that's it. I'm finished. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm finished. I'm done. It's over. Clearly, I am not meant to be a writer. I have tried, and I have tried, and nothing has worked out. I put my heart out there, and it keeps getting stomped on. Well, that's it. No more. I, I'm, I'm done writing. I bought a vase last week, and it's still in the box, and I just want to check to see what they use to pack it in. Ah, it's your book!
Oh my god, this gets me so angry. What? What is it? Look at this. The number one book on the New York Times bestseller list is Dream Your Way to Spiritual Joy by Pauly Shore. This is why nobody bought my damn book. I'm gonna tell mom you said crap. No, I mean it. I wonder if that's a real book. I could do it in three hours and idiots everywhere would buy it. Well, why don't you? Believe me, I would love to, just to make a point, but yeah, I've, I've given up writing. Yes, but you cared about what you wrote before. You don't care about this, so what does it matter? Well, you do have a point. All right, maybe I will. <sighs> this is great. I can finally be alone with my thoughts. Wait, I've got it. Predator versus Batman. Why has no one done this? I need a pen. Where's a pen? Oh, right. I can't move. That's okay. I'll remember it. I mean, I can't forget a million dollar idea like that. It's even better than the one yesterday about the guys who... Wait, I mean, I mean the woman with the... What was it? Was she a shapeshifter? Damn it! I just had it! All right, calm down. At least you've still got Batman and the... And done. There it is, Stewie. Three hours, 27 minutes, and I got myself one big steaming pile of book. You want to hear it? Oh, definitely. What are you calling it? Wish it, want it, do it. Love it. Thanks. Okay, chapter one. Wish it. What are all the things you want most in the world? Use the following blank pages to write down all of your dreams and desires. And, you know, I have a friend who might be able to help get this published. Wait, you have a friend in publishing and you never told me before? He's kind of a new friend. Well, who is he? Yeah, I don't know if you want to start digging around in this area. Let's just leave it at he's a friend in publishing and he calls on Thursdays. Oh! Always butt stuff. Gotta go to a wedding. I'll see you later. Oh my god, that is fantastic news. I can't wait to tell him. I know, I told you the book was good. Oh, thank you so much, Don. Um, red overalls, a yellow shirt underneath. I, I, I don't really have time to do this right now. Brian, they're publishing your book. Penguin Publishing. One moment, please. Sir, I have a Brian Griffin on the line. Out! Get out! Get out now! What the... All right, everyone, I made a... Penguins do doggy style. Very special breakfast to celebrate Brian's book coming out. And, and, it's a special breakfast for me, too, right? Why? Because, because it is the anniversary of when I started to eat vegetables. Oh, Lois, you didn't have to go through all this fuss. What you got there? Oh, this? It's just a copy of Us magazine. <laughs> Can you believe it? Wish it, want it, do it. Got three stars. How, how hilarious is that? So, hats off to both of us. Well, nice going, Stewie. You ought to be my publicist. You know, I, I don't want you to be offering me this just because we're related. I, I do have references you can call. You know, I, I spent a month as Melanie Griffith's loose skin holder. Can't hold on much longer! I should have stayed in bed. No personal questions. All right, are you okay? You good? You, you need anything? All right. All right, we're in. And of course, she sounds like Droopy. That's just a gift. Side, and there is nobody here to greet us. We have no idea where we are or where we're supposed to go. Oh, wait, is that you on the phone over there? Is, is this? This is us. Look over here. here. There we go. He sees us. All right. Hi, thanks for coming. Yeah, hello. We've been here a while. Come on, I'll show you the green room. It'll just be a few minutes. Oh, uh, excuse me. There's something on the wall. Geez, Stewie, there's no need to... Ooh, I said no gray M&Ms. These are all gray. Don't worry, Brian, I've got it all under control. You're a big canine star. They should be treating you like Spuds... I just got that. He's colorblind because he's a dog. Mackenzie. Man, I wonder what he's doing now. Now, ladies, approach him slowly. He can't really see anymore. I've injected him with the Viagra. Now, I'm going to roll him on his back, but you're pretty much going to have to do 100% of the work. Oh! Oh, you know, one thing I like about Family Guy is they found such creative ways to talk sexually about things without talking sexually about things. Yeah. Now, now what does that mean? Wish it, want it, do it. Uh, well, it, 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 it basically just refers to the steps necessary for identifying and achieving your dreams and doing so in as effective and expeditious a manner as possible. Wow. And it's nonfiction, right? Uh, yes, it is. Now, now, which one is that? I, I always forget. Is that the one that really happened or not? Uh, yeah. Now, I was just texting with New York. We're doing a whole thing there. I booked your plane ticket, and I specifically asked that you not sit next to an Asian. Stewie, that's racist. That's terrible. I'm sorry. Do you want me to call back and change it? Well, it's done now. Seems like a lot of extra work.
Okay, there's a book signing at the Barnes and Noble on Union Square at five, and then at seven you're meeting with a reporter from InStyle magazine at Pastis. I just want to warn you, she's very heavy, so be prepared for that. He is how heavy? I don't know, but apparently heavy enough that they felt they needed to warn me. I, it doesn't say who the author is, Brian, but I would, I, I would guess that it's probably not that. Ah, well, Stewie, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all you're doing. I mean, I, I have been so happy with most everything. Oh. You, most? Oh, yeah. It, I don't even... It's so tiny, those other things. It's not even worth... Oh, my God, you're amazing. I've been so thrilled with how you're doing. Uh, oh, great. Hi, can I help you? I just have to tell you I loved your book, Mr. Griffin. Oh, thank you so much. You made my day. So, you still in school? Graduating this year. Well, we'll have to celebrate while I'm here. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be right back with your key. Yes. Celebrate screaming right up the back of her. <laughs> Pretty weird, I guess. Oh my god, were you were you thinking of doing that? Uh, sending her to my room? No. Why? Why, were you thinking of me doing that? I don't even know what you're saying anymore, man. Just do do whatever you're thinking. <laughs> Hi, um, I just want to say that I can't tell you how much your book has helped me. Uh-huh, what's your name? It's Jan. Okay, here you go, Dan. It, uh, it's Jan. Back of the line, go on. Come back around, he'll try it again. Well, you know, that's what I set out to do with this book, so, you know, I gotta tell you, that makes me feel pretty great. This is just a phone number. I know, I know. It's my phone number. Oh. Yeah. What do you think of that? Um, I'm not sure. Hey, congratulations. Somebody famous now hates you. Okay, so that's enough autographs, I think. Listen, I want to thank you all for coming down, and remember, wish it, want it, buy it. All right. Well, yes. Well, if you want to be in black and white, black and white's got to be in you. God, you know, Stewie, I, I, I used to think that John Lennon was kind of a jerk for saying the Beatles were bigger than Jesus. But now, I mean... It's like, I'm, I'm not saying I am, but I get it. And you being honest with me, well, that's helping me do that. So thank you. Good. You know what? I'll just, I'll take a cab. Oh, what the f- Hey, Brian. Welcome home. How was your book signing? Jeez, Lois, could I have like five minutes to decompress, please? It was a really horrible flight, and I was sitting next to a Japanese guy who had a cold. <sighs> oh my god, Brian! Brian! Brian, look at this! I got you on real time with Bill Maher! You're kidding, that's awesome, Stewie! Great job! What's that? What? What phrase do I know? Bill Maher, woo! Okay, so the topic is going to be, should God play a role in politics? Oh, and here's your heartworm pill wrapped in bologna. Well, Whoa. I can... I can... Uh, you... Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Mr. Griffin, we'll be ready in five minutes. You'll be on the panel with Ariana Huffington and Dana Gould. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. My, my publicist told me Christopher Hitchens would be on the panel. No, we told him Dana and Ariana two hours ago. I am so sorry. I am done with you. Do you hear me? Done. Get out of here now. Yes, but I think the more important question that sometimes gets ignored is what about the separation of church and state? Well, Bill, see, I think... I, I, actually, Dana, if I may, if I may, I have some insight on this. Uh, Bill, do you mind? Go, dog. God, period, damn it. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, well, if I can expand on this, um, for one thing, in God we trust is on money. Now, what does that tell you? All this kind of pseudo-spirituality is being peddled to the American people in books that have really less substance than an issue of TV Guide. That's a good argument. It's a very good argument. I agree. I agree. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I didn't read it. <laughs> oh, God. hey. Oh, so you're the guy. <laughs> it's, it's, actually, it's actually very popular. Well, it may be popular, but I, I have to say I agree with Ariana. Uh, I, I think it's actually quite harmful. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Maybe because maybe it sounds like you're talking with a mouthful of syrup. I just didn't get it. <laughs> socioeconomic range. I mean, yeah, you can wish it and you can do it, but only if you have the educational advantages, the societal advantages that, like what, 5% of the country has? 
Well, yeah, you forgot want it, which is such a big part of the book. I mean, but, but you know, then again, you just said you haven't read it, so, you know. Uh, actually, since I said that, I did read it. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it does seem to be helping a lot of people, Bill. I mean, it... Well, help is a strong word. Um, how does this help people, like, with cancer or in Darfur? Well, I mean, it's not really for them. It's for, like, if you want a car. That's why I keep it by the phone. I think what this is is simple exploitation of the American people who could be using the money that they spend to buy this book to actually buy something useful, like legitimate health care that they actually need. <laughs> What it comes down to is that these false promises of like a quick fix to any and any problem that you would ever have, what books like these suggest is actually damaging to a large, gullible segment of the population. Oh, yeah, aren't you a sitcom writer? You know, I'm an author. I have contributed to the zeitgeist. Do you even know what zeitgeist means? If I didn't know what it meant, I wouldn't use it, Dana, which, <laughs> which is a girl's name. And I'm... <laughs> You know, Brian, I don't think you're in a position really here to pull rank on anybody. I mean, yes, Dana has made a career in comedy. I don't think he's ever done anything as laughable as this book. Look, all right, well, <laughs> what do you want? I wrote it in a day. Wow. I ain't about to take no smack from no dude with no Transylvania hairline. I right? homie's neck look like an overtly used vagina. I'll just start giving it to people. Wow. If I had even one shred of respect for you, before this, it's gone now. I mean, if you're going to dump on people, the kind of steaming, stinking, smelly dump that your kind traffics in. Uh, okay, look, I I'm happy to do that. I I I'm just, I'm just trying. Look, what I was saying. Just tell me what you want me to say. Bill, he's urinating. Oh. That's it. Look, Bill, can I Outside. Just... No, no, no. Outside. Outside now. Outside. Uh, knock, knock. Hey, Stewie. What do you want? You know, you were the only person who believed in me when I was down. This all happened so fast, and I lost sight of who I was. I mean, you know, sure, you were in a little over your head, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. I was in over my head? Yeah, but Stewie, this isn't about all the things you did wrong. It's about me apologizing. All right, Stewie, I'm sorry that I made you uncomfortable and put you in a situation that you clearly couldn't handle. Okay, okay, there it is again. What the hell? Stop with that! Y you're right, you're right. This is, this is about healing. It's this, this is not about how many things you messed up along the way. It's about how badly I reacted to them. So, I'm sorry about how badly I reacted to your many errors. That's as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Pretty much. You can't write. Thanks for driving me to the library for story time, Brian. Today we're reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar vs. The Human Centipede. I heard it's like Alien vs. Predator with a little bit more butt-eating. But I like my library. <laughs> Already, huh? I met Curious George there. Mom said he was a puppet, but she's stupid. I'm just saying, we should go to the library at Quahog University and take your education to a higher level. I don't want to end up like Meg doing sad one-woman shows. Oh, I love trash. Anything ragged or rotten or rusty. Yes, I love trash. Whose fault is this? You're wearing a garbage bag as a cape. Who do you think? <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah, that's good library. Whatever, you go do your thing. I'm gonna go watch that young hotshot attorney over there who's clearly in the middle of a movie montage. Oh, he found it! He's gonna win the case! Ow. Oh, no, it was a 70s movie. So, who are you reading? George Eliot. Ah, Georgie. I'm a big fan. I think he, uh... She. She said it best when she said, Bantam Press, 1851. You just said Lumineers with no context. Did I do that? Ugh. 
tumbler? Wow, I've never seen someone go 0 for 6 in 15 minutes before. Just hard rejection after hard rejection. What's going on over there? That's the best way to learn to get girls though, man. Just keep getting rejected. You know what I mean? Sooner or later, someone's gonna... Not even gonna say it. It's like a student rally. They probably forgot to study for an exam, so they organized a protest. That is, when they're not looking down at their phones. Hey, what's going on? Someone wrote weird on the transgender bathroom and the school president didn't overreact, so we want him fired. Oh, I see news cameras. I'm gonna yell, Viva la stool, like a young white drunkard. Because in our systemic rape culture, no day is a nice day, so we want him fired too. Hey, if you don't want to get fired, don't become a teacher, right? <laughs> totally, you should tweet that. Hashtag fire everyone. All right, open app. Got a bunch of those, no biggie. Type in tweet. Blast off in three, two, one, and tweeted. I am back in the game. See? Up, oh, you're gone. And the crowd is gone. Hey, Stewie, what do you think about this tweet? Oh, don't be that guy. Kelly Ripa no-shows at work. Who does she think she is? A Republican senator? <laughs> Hashtag G-O-P-U. Why are you getting into Twitter now? Unless you're an athlete or a celebrity, no one cares. A lot of people like my stuff. Oh, yeah? Someone needs to tell Donald Trump it's not fashionable to wear orange on your face after Labor Day. Yeah, viral. You know, I don't care. You can't stop me. Just like people can't stop Peter from ordering shepherd's pie. I'll have the shepherd's pie. I'm sorry, but that's not on the menu. Well, do you have potatoes? Yes. Butter? Yes. Cream? Yes. Salt? Yes. Eggs? Yes. Flour? Yes. Rosemary? Yes. Thyme? Yes. Peas? Yes. Lightsaber? I better get a tweet out before I go dark for a few hours. Just kidding. I'm white and went to college. Hashtag Baywatch movie. Social media suicide in three, two, one. Please tweet it. Please tweet it. Wow, haven't seen that much camel toe since the Arab Spring. Hashtag thinking in tweets. Hey, are you at dog backwards from Twitter? I am. Are, are you a fan? You racist jerk! Oh. I hope you get foot and mouth disease! Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, you are blowing up! Blowing up bad! <laughs> oh, look at that! Huffington Post just picked it up! Buckle up, buddy! There he is! Oh. Where? I'm in the back! No. Hey, how was Baywatch? I want to see that bad. What were you thinking writing that tweet? What? It was just a joke. Brian, it's not 2005. You can't just go online and say whatever you want. Yeah, remember how mad people got when DiGiorno tweeted about domestic violence? All right, all right, I'll delete the tweet. You ha Did DiGiorno tweet about domestic violence? Was it at least funny? Don't worry. We're going to edit that out. Haven't deleted it yet? Yeah, what a train wreck! There, done, done. See, it's done. It's gone. What? All those people outside they'll see that i deleted it and it'll all blow over trust no. me um what's the name of this place dicks <laughs> and, and what's that say on your shirt dicks <laughs> hey you're the guy from the phone <laughs> stop the car chris did you get him yet we got him hey sid happy mango monday <laughs> oh those nighttime information technology classes must really be getting to Sid. Gil, help me out here. Hmm. Gil, no! What about Barbara? Is she back there? She can clear this up. Let me talk to Barbara. She doesn't want to talk to you either. Nobody does. Not as long as you're living with that racist dog. Where's Stanley? He'll vouch for me. Let me talk to Stanley. Or Henry. Chip? Hmm. Karen? Hmm. Tito? Hmm. Larry? Hmm. Hmm. His name was Tito. <laughs> <laughs> Who names your kid Tito? <laughs> I feel like naming your kid Tito immediately gives them the reputation of a redheaded stepchild. It's like naming your kid Jesus. All the kids are gonna start making Jesus jokes. <laughs> At least I know I did when I knew a kid was named Jesus. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not joking. I, I, I made fun of kids when I was a kid. And last week. Don't freeze me out like this. We're on a first name basis. They're on our name tags, Lois. Hey, how come no one told me we were going to the clam? Hey, Jerome, give me a beer. 
Oh, why? Because I'm like your slave? Man, you're no better than your racist dog. I told you about Brian. I told you. Come on, he deleted his tweet. But the hurt has been RT'd in our hearts. But come on, Joe, I... Sir, I... sir, you've been asked to leave. Joe, it's me, Peter. Yes, sir, I don't want to have to ask you again. Sir. Joe, Joe. Sir. He's gone. Sir. It's okay. Sir. He's gone. <laughs> Your dog wrote an insensitive tweet. You can't eat here. Uh-oh, Meg. It's a sensitivity mob. It was just a joke. Chris, maybe we should just eat outside? No, Meg, we're eating here. I'd like to see you try. Oh, man, yep, that's enough. That's literally enough. That's all it takes. This is a good look. Game. No, go away. This is getting out of control. We can't leave the house without getting harassed. Yeah, yesterday I went outside to try to get the mail, and I had a seizure. Now that may not be protester related, but still, you gotta do something, Brian. People still won't leave me alone. You have to apologize. Go outside, do it now. Tell them that it was a mistake and how sorry you are, and maybe they'll get off our backs. Maybe you're right. <clears throat> Hello. And you better make one of them Sam Pepper apologies. <laughs> think anybody would call me on it you know so please <laughs> as you all know I'm Brian Griffin Brian Griffin boo I want to read a few words boo liar boo anyway I, I want to apologize somewhere else boo ladies and gentlemen I I'm here today to apologize why did you say ladies first that's sexist it's just it's just a, a standard greeting l l let me start over Humans in the audience. I identify as a basketball. Human. No. No. This is why most people don't apologize. I was like, hey, look, I did what I did. You know what I mean? Like, see, look at this. This is a funny clip of me playing basketball and losing. Does this make it better? Like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make an apology video, yo. Oh my god. Oh, that'd be awesome. I gotta do that. ...and basketballs. I'm a parrot who mimics words but doesn't comprehend them. Whatever? It's whoever. Actually, it's whomever. No one likes you, Mary. All right, all right, just, just calm down, okay? Now you're tone policing us. That makes me uncomfortable. You know what? <laughs> I'm not a racist, all right? I just told a bad joke. There's a huge difference, but nobody on the internet ever takes the time to ask themselves, is this worth freaking out over? I watch tons of black porn. So what do you all want? I'm 
only laughing because I do too. And that makes it relatable to me, so it's freaking hilarious. Now I'm gonna edit that out. But, that doesn't make it any less true. I'm not a racist, alright? I just told a bad joke. There's a huge difference, but nobody on the internet ever takes the time to ask themselves, is this worth freaking out over? I watch tons of black porn. So what do you all want from me? Huh? Do you want to ruin my life? But congratulations, you did it! Everybody hates me. I can't leave the house without getting harassed. No one will hire me, or that they're gonna kill my family. Leave me alone! I'm the self-righteous liberal douchebag, not you! I've kissed a transsexual before! How many of you can say that? I should kill all of you! Got me crying, bruh. You leave that man alone after that. You leave that man alone. It don't get realer than that. It don't get realer than that, bruh. I kissed a transsexual. I am. <laughs> I literally almost ran when I heard the police just now. That's. Is that bad? Just racially stereotype myself. God dang it. It only makes it worse that I actually do have a warrant right now. Gonna edit that out. <laughs> Don't worry guys, it's in Texas. I'm in Vegas. So, <laughs> I really just got a warrant in Texas. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Yep, yep. Finish them off. Give it a day, though. You gotta do it. Ow! Ooh! Jeez. Ooh! Well, we started the dialogue. You screamed black porn at the top of your lungs in front of women and children. I know that, but you also haven't done much to prove that you aren't. I know, I know. All I have left is you guys. Thank God you have my back. Ow! Ryan, listen, we love you, but they're throwing things at our house. We've got to keep our family safe. I'm sorry. It's for the best. Are you? It's not that much love in the world, bruh. Nope. Serious? You're okay with this? I saw Baywatch. That thing was freaking rad. I still think this is a drastic measure. Yeah, I messed up, but what about all the stupid things Peter's done? He's never been kicked out in his life. My life is not the issue here. Why am I so fat? I'm sorry, Brian, but this is the way it has to be. All right, then. I guess this is goodbye. Brian, wait! This collar is ours. It has our address on it. All right, radio, time for you to tell me what this all means. I got a pocket full of portals and I'm headed to the arcade That'd have been great if Highway to Hell started playing I'm on the highway to hell Did did No <sighs> Hey, are you here for the Time magazines with some of the letters cut out? Uh no, I, no, I saw that you have an apartment for rent. Okay. I just have one rule here. No kissing the mailman. I don't think that's going to be a problem. You haven't seen him, so don't say that yet. Ten dollars say that that guy's the mailman. If I have other items I want to buy, uh, can I buy them here at the pharmacy window? Yes. Ruth! Yeah, bring it over here. Sir, do you mind if I go ahead of you? Uh, yes, I do mind. <laughs> Somehow I'm neither here nor there. Six dollars. 
Hey, did you knock over a few bottles in aisle seven? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Patricia, where's the big <sighs> nail clipper? I don't know. Did you get rid of it? Why would I get rid of the big <sighs> nail clipper? Because you're a bitch. That's nice. Yeah, now I'm going to tell you where it is. I knew you knew where it was, you liar. Tell me where it is. No, tell me where the big nail clipper is. Boom. Damn it. Isn't it anymore? Shut up, little man. You shut up. And you're putting your wire. Nine hundred dollars. Homie had to cook his own cereal. It sucks, man. L. R. Ah. Uh. Two R's. Yeah. 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 He's I. You ever watch something that you know was gonna be funny, so you had to get like your face ready? Ready? I ain't gonna laugh. This mom not laughing face. We got this. Not this time, subscribers. Ain't falling for it this time. Daddy, you're awake. Oh, Carter, I'm so relieved. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Oh, you had a heart attack, Daddy, but you're all right now. Yeah, he cool. What the hell is that? Oh, it's an African-American heart monitor made by your company. What? Yes, it has two settings, Barry White and Bill Cosby. <laughs> beep, beep, boop, beep. My company makes no such thing. Well, you see, Daddy, when you were in a coma, Peter stepped in and took charge of Pewdishman Industries. zip the zoop the geep the bop the zoop the zig the zag the boop the bop the ghost dad. Well, you made it, Peter. You're a big shot, in charge of a whole bunch of people. Peggy, hold my calls for a few minutes, please. Yes, Mr. Griffin. Well, buddy, you're in love with Peggy. What a mess. Griffin, get the hell out of my building! Holy crap, Mr. P that wasn't a laugh. Didn't laugh. Huh? I'm doing good. I has discipline now. I'm not gonna lose none of these. It's just not gonna happen. Pewdishman, you're okay! You're damn right I'm okay, and I'm here to reassume charge of my company. Maybe I don't want to leave. Maybe I like being a fat cat. What are you saying? I'm saying it's my company now, and it's better than it ever was when you were running it. Security, we have a situation in the conference room. I'll give you a situation, you fat turd! Gentlemen, please remove this man from the building. What the? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! This is my company! Throw that guy out! Sorry, Mr. Pewterschmidt, but we work for Mr. Griffin now. You can't do this to me! Do you know who I am? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! I'm not getting in that elevator! Don't you dare throw me out of this lobby! Don't you... Damn it! Hey, what are you doing out here? I can't get in the building. Uh, Peggy? Yes, Mr. Griffin. That fart I have at three, can you push that up to now? Very good, sir. Is it really like that? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna have to own a Fortune 500 company. Like, I can tell my secretary that I'm about to fart and she can't run? She just gotta stay and deal with it. Yeah, that's right. Learn to like it. Whatever my secretary would be named. A very unfortunate position for anyone who'd be hired by me, by the way. Lois, how could you let your idiot husband take over my company? He fired all my staff, his stupid ideas are bankrupting Pewterschmidt Industries, and now he won't step down! I know, Daddy. He's become so full of himself. He's more annoying than when he's making his Christmas list. Now, Peter, are you sure this is all you want for Christmas? I'm only going to the mall once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All new this Christmas, remote control cars that glow in the dark? Get that! I've run that company for 40 years. He even froze my corporate bank accounts. I'm broke. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'll talk to him as soon as he gets home. What the hell is that? Damn it, Peter! Your plane set my lawn on fire! Yeah, that ought to cover it. Peter, I don't want your money! Well, fine then. Have a box of Jeremy Irons cereal. If you're looking for a prize at the bottom, there is none. Only more cardboard.
Give Nana a big hug, sweetheart. Well, that should guarantee some after-dinner entertainment. Lois, uh, I was thinking. <laughs> that is so shitty. Somehow that's not a laugh, I swear to God. King, why don't I fly out to Palm Springs and pick up Stewie? Really? Yeah, a trip like this is just what I need to clear my head. Well, that would be wonderful. It'll give me time to catch up on my reading. Oh, usually there are so many distractions. Come into my home, will ya? Show you, you bastard. sent the dog oh 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 well this is this is this is, oh oh don't even get me started i i i, I mean really when, when i think of of, of 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 the times that that woman has oh i won't even begin to to to, to. can we go fine wait here at the gate i gotta run a quick errand aren't you a little young to be traveling alone aren't you a little old to be wearing braces oh I think you've had about enough. Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive looking woman. You know, you're you're really pretty. Oh, stop. No, I'm am serious. You could you could be in magazines. You you could. You can, and, and not just like jugs or or creamsicle. Call me. She won't call. Oh, here's a pleasant sight. Cirrhosis the Wonder Dog. I'm I'm not drunk. All right, I just have a speech impediment. Yep. Then yep. And there a it is. stomach virus. Yep. Yeah. And an inner ear infection. Yep. Flight and a concussion. Final oh, yep. At last. Yes, yes. Come now. Chase the stick. Where, where are the bags? What the deuce do you mean, where are the bags? They're right in. Rupert, I tell you to watch the bags. You were watching the boys again, weren't you? It's that steward, isn't it? The one who looks like Tab Hunter. Don't forget it. Let's just get on the bloody plane and go home. Our tickets were in the bags. Flight 85 to Providence is now departing. Rupert, I told you to watch the bags. You were watching the boys again, weren't you? That is gay teddy bear, bruh. I you gay teddy bear. It's not going to stop me. Yep, there hey. it is. Yep. No! No! Racist! That was my plan. Where's yours? Call her a whore. Mm. Oh my god. All right, let's not dilly dally. Get Lewis on the phone, have her wire us some money, and let's get the hell out of here. I, 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 I'm. I'm oh, oh. Yep, oh, there you that's go. Pretty. Yep. Yeesh. Oh! Hello, operator. Hello. Oh, God, that's right. You have to punch in the numbers nowadays. I should know this. What was this in the 40s? What do you mean nowadays? Oh, yes. 8675309. That's it. No, wait, that's not it. Damn you, Tom. Watch like 16 people call this in real life. Three, two tone. <sighs> Only one thing to do. 111-1111. Lewis? Yeah. Damn. 111-1112. Lewis? Damn. 111-1113. <laughs> You got the stuff? Yeah, I got it. Where's the money, huh? I want to see the money. No, no, no. You don't see the money till I see the stuff. Oh, for God's sake, there's only one way to put an end to this nuisance. He's wearing a wire! What? You son of a... <sighs> Ooh. 
Hey, <laughs> Mr. Giraffe, get all the marmalade. No! 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 Hello! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh! Damn it! A pus spewing blood gut in hell! Ah! Oh, what? What do you mean our credit card was declined? No, 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 there's no need to come up. We'll, we'll, oh, blast! Damn it! Oh, come on, you get up. Come on, go for a ride in the car. Blast! Oh, a penny. Wake up! What, what, oh, uh, what, oh, my head. Oh, God, what are we doing here? Oh, we needed a weekend away from the kids, you know, just us. We have to get the hell out of here! Motel manager, open up, or I'll hit you with this blunt instrument I used to hit deadbeats with bad credit cards. Well, it's, it's not an instrument, it's more of an object. But it's blunt, hard and blunt, and well, it's kind of like a bat. I found it out back one day when I was raking. Let's go. All right, we need some wheels. This one's unlocked. An SUV? Look, we're trying to elude someone. We're not driving to soccer practice. Let's take this one. You, you like that color? What's wrong with the color? I, I don't know. It's just, it's so dark. It, well, yes, but it doesn't show I, it, dirt. What? It doesn't show dirt. I, I guess. It, uh, it... You, you know, this really is the first place we've gone to. Perhaps we should try another lot. So. Yeah, run. Yeah. It. Get out of here. I don't even pump my own gas. For God's sake. Hurry up. You did it. Wait, put it back. I like that song. Uh, hello? Lois. Hi, it's Brian. Let me talk to her. Brian, we were just on our way to the airport. Is everything okay? Yeah, 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 everything's fine. Everything's fine. Stewie and I traded in our plane tickets for train tickets. Yeah, yeah, uh, apparently you, you can do that. Give me the damn phone! Oh, little fella's sound asleep, but I'll give him that kiss for you. You suck! See you in three days. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, crap, we gotta disappear, and quick. Maybe we should have... Technically couldn't let that laugh out. I would have spit hot Cheeto everywhere. Oh boy. I jumped on that truck. You really saturate the soil twice a day. That's why my tomatoes haven't been coming in. Hola. Uh, me, me, me amo es Brian. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, Nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me amo es Brian, you don't need the ace. Just me amo Brian. Oh, you speak English? No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You... you're kidding, right? Okay. That's like one of my favorite jokes in all the family, guy. Senor, hurry el auto! Why the hell did we get off here? My mother lives in Austin. Don't you see? Fate's brought me back here for a reason. I have to find my mother and make peace with her. Oh, yeah, so she's in Austin. Hmm? Eight miles that way? Yes. All right, so instead of driving down this sun-parched highway, we've now got to walk. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, you know what this means. Yeah. I say, walk slower, dog. My huggies are already holed up in Box Canyon. For anybody out there who's eating their breakfast right now, or are watching this in front of their parents, that means... His his uh his draws are crammed in his anus. That's not even something that should happen from riding a dog. And based on his very sketchy history, well, we're gonna edit that out. We're just not gonna talk anymore about this subject. We know what. Hey, Meg, try to guess the word I'm thinking of right now. And it's not kitty. <sighs> Car. No. I don't know. Apple. No. Give up. Yeah. It was Kitty! <laughs> Six and a half hours later. <laughs> that very well might be the shittiest thing I've ever seen anyone do to anybody else. I'm gonna do that to someone. <laughs> Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yo.
just to prove my point on how shitty of a thing that is to do to somebody, watch this. So I want you to guess the word that I'm thinking of. The word's not basket. Biscuit? No. Balls? <laughs> no. Rape? Nah, nah, man, it was basket in your face. What? It's not even right, bruh. <laughs> Subscribe to my brother's channel. The link in the description down below. Hey, hell yeah. Stupid. It was basket. <laughs> she told you it was jacked up. Wait here. I'm gonna get directions to the nearest park so we can give my mother a proper burial. Come on, darling. Stiff up a lip. <laughs> oh, I'm writing that one down. <sighs> say something. What? Just say something, please. Yeah, for God's sake. Um, uh, yea, and God said to Abraham, you will kill your son Isaac. And Abraham said, I can't hear you. You'll have to speak into the microphone. And God said, Oh, I'm sorry, is this better? Check, check, check. Jerry, pull the high end out. I'm still getting some juice back here. Say something about my mother. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I never knew Biscuit as a dog, but I did know her as a table. No! Was... No! Dirty, all four legs the same length. Thanks, no! thanks, that's enough. Yes, yes, uh, Requiem and Terra Packs and so forth, I'm in. Okay, Meg, I'm thinking of another word. This time, it's definitely not kitty. Can you guess what it is? Is it kitty? Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Yes, Brian. Uh, uh, uh let's see. Uh, nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me llamo Ace Brian, you don't need the ace. Just me llamo Brian. Oh, you speak English? No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You... you're kidding, right? Okay. <laughs> no! Oh, you know, I, actually, I, I think I'm gonna be okay. Oh, Jack, now we can get married and everything you promised. Yeah, about that. Uh, I was pretty sure I was gonna die. Uh, cause actually th there's this girl in New York and it's, it's getting kind of serious, but... You know, thanks for letting me draw you naked. I still can't believe you let me do that. That's really how it'd be in real life, too. Now, now, this is just a suggestion, just throwing it out there. Have you considered abortion? Uh, Peter, I think it's too late for that. Oh, don't let the press put the scare into you. Wade v. Boggs has not been overturned. Yeah, but... That doesn't count, okay? That doesn't count! You can't really abort a live baby. Oh, you boy, they have got you. Glenn, Glenn, give her back. The minute any of you guys figure out how to abort a child after it's already been born, hit me up in the DMs. I need to figure that out real quick. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. It's from all of us. Lois, can the turkey please join us for dinner? Not as the meal, but as our guest. Of course he can. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> The man of the house killed the turkey for Thanksgiving! Yep, looks like we're having turkey after all. <laughs> Why are people having sex under the table? Four years later, me and Lois divorced and Stewie died. Gobble, gobble! No! Stu! 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 Yes, you there. Oh, you know, I think you should all be nicer to Will Wheaton. The way I treat my colleagues... Wait, what? I said you ought to be nicer to Will Wheaton. You mean Will Wheaton? Yes, Will Wheaton. Why are you saying it like that? Well, I'm just saying you should be nicer to Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton seems like a nice guy. Say wheat. Wheat. Now, say Will Wheaton. 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 Hey, did you hook up with Whoopi Goldberg on the show? All the time. Lewis! 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 Oh my god, I say this from personal experience. They're really like this. I never, I never knew. This is, this is what they do. 
I swear to God. It's like, it's like this. Anyone who had kids out there, they're about to relate to this so hard. This is what they do, look. Lewis, 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 Lewis. Mom, 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 mommy, 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 mama, 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 ma, 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 mom, 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 mommy, mommy, mama, mama, mama. I won't point to you just tell me. Parents have some of the most patient I've ever seen in my life. How do you not turn around, pick him up, and just throw him at something? Like that? Like, um, mom, mommy, mommy, mama, mama, mama. What? Hi. <laughs> It's really like that. It really is. It Thank goodness Peter bought a huge supply of dehydrated meals before the blast. Peter, what are you doing? You just ate a year's worth of food. Yeah, what a waste of money. I'm still hungry. Everyone leave. I have to poop. Now! What are you watching, Peter? Passion of the Christ. I tell you, Brian, I can't believe that this guy's just lying there taking it. If it was me, I would have done something about it. Well, if you must know, it's because we've noticed large quantities of benzene, ephedrine, and everyday Epsom salt have gone missing. Oh, please, we both know those are the ingredients used to make crystal meth. And I've got a pretty good idea who you've been selling it to as well. Oh, hey, uh, Baker, when you're done talking to your friend, I want to, uh, I want to talk to you about that thing. Don't do drugs, kids, unless you want to look like Big Bird on meth. Okay, sunsets. Das ist gut. Ja. Sauerkraut, das ist gut. Ja. The Autobahn, Vroom Vroom, das ist gut. Ja. Umpa Music, das ist gut. Ja. Euthanasia for the mentally feeble, das ist gut. Das ist gut, this film before an audience of the mentally feeble. That's as good as filmed in front of a live audience of the mentally feeble. How you gonna call somebody mentally feeble to their face? Good. Das ist gut is filmed before an audience of the mentally feeble. God, I wish I could get tickets to that show. I haven't passed none of these! Before I start playing, I'm gonna eat this whole sandwich. I've seen concerts, bro. This really works. Why am I doing YouTube? I can do this and make more. Make way more. I'll finish it later. Yay. Well, this will be for my fourth birdie. Looks like someone's in the zone. Oh, tough break there, Jesus. Yep. Or was it? Whoop, 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 whoop. Booyah! Now, Peter, it's so nice that after all these years we've been together, we can still... Smoke break! What? Peter, what are you doing down there? Nothing. Well, it doesn't seem Ow! like nothing. Ow! Ow! Peter, Ow! since when are you a smoker? Put that out. You blowing it into the... Gives a whole new meaning to the phrase blowjob. Right now, smoking is highly addictive. I'm not addicted. I just need a couple every hour or so, so I don't go completely insane. Peter, that's exactly what addicted means. You have a serious problem. Cigarettes will kill you. Relax, Lois. I can quit any time I want. Look, I'll toss this one out right now. Hello, Meg. I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right. And I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. Yep. That's all very impressive. Yep. We'll keep you in mind. Let's see. Pointy boobs, medium pointy boobs, not so pointy boobs. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that's not so pointy. Boobs, not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. Ah! Not 
That's a shame. Like she's overqualified mentally, but since her titties ain't on no point, he just ain't gonna give her a job. Oh man, that's a shame. She was, she was smart as hell too. Dang. If only her titties look nicer. <laughs> it really be like that. Not this time. I mean, look at that dog over there. You think he wants to be tied to that chair waiting in the hot sun while his owner gets ice cream? Hell no. I am gonna make people see that an animal's life is just as important as a human's. Go, fellow canine! Be free and enjoy life! Yeah! My dog is dead! Maybe that's why he was tired. <laughs> Brian in this situation. What do you do? You run and just act like this whole day didn't happen. Nope. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Lionel Richie's Can't Slow Down? Great album, Lois. Great album. I didn't know who I was until I heard this album. I sometimes see you oh, God, Lionel. You have been hurt. You have been hurt by somebody. That much is clear. <laughs> Who hurt you? 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 Kind of like those years when it was just Marley and me. Hey, my dog's chewing up that thing I need. Hey, my dirty dog's jumping in the neighbor's pool. Wait, Marley, don't shake your wet fur in the middle of this fancy party. I'm gonna lay down these work blueprints on the floor, and I sure hope you don't walk across them with muddy paws. Marley! Oh, my nightmare dog is dead. Marley and me. <laughs> Stupid hat. Damn it. I paid 15 cents for this ticket. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. God, could he be any more annoying? Oh, hey, it's Tom. Tommy. <laughs> hey, hey, here you took that black chick home. Hey, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Holy crap, this is awesome! I haven't felt a rush like this since I won that marathon! It's my brother. He's the one who made these compilations for me. Uh, the link to his channel will be in the description down below as well. Also, I'm leaving out the last minute of it, so if you want to watch the whole last minute of this video, make sure to go and watch it via the link in the description down below on my brother's channel. Also, subscribe to him as well. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Come back later, please. Housekeeping. Not now. Housekeeping. Go away. I come in anyway? No, go away. I come in anyway. His Mexican accent is is so disturbingly on point, kind of. You know what I mean? And, and that's real. Oh, my God! I said no! Okay, I clean? No, get out of here! Okay, you lend me money? No. You drive my grandmother to a doctor's appointment? No, no, I'm not doing that. I stick finger in your mouth? Housekeeping? Okay. Okay. Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely terrifying. I've never... Oh, my God. Elmo's clam! What? What? Jeez. Nothing. Good morning, Lois. <laughs> Mort. No problem, Lois. That's just how people say hello to me. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mort. What the hell is this? Oh, hi, Stewie. We were just leaving. I say, what the devil is all the fuss about? I don't get it. What's in there? Bing bong! Hello! My God, you look like one of those animals. You know, the one that... Which one does the... That sound? That... Ah, oh, crap. You know which one I mean. Hey, Quagmire, how was your date last night? Cleveland, it was amazing. You know what I discovered last night? Women have a fourth hole. What? Yeah. What? I mean, it's only visible. 
isn't that the ear? Because I'll tell a female on a date, like, hey, look, like, if you don't come to the crib, you know what I mean? Like, we having ear sex. And don't ask me how it fits, because it will fit. Like, a skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> We gonna edit that out. Well, if you're looking from exactly the right angle, like the entrance to Hogwarts, but you gotta believe that it's there. I like having a family. I got all the crazy out of my system when I was 18. Not me. I was dating Lois the whole time. I never got to be wild, except for that time I rode the mechanical bull at that bar. <laughs> oh my God! How embarrassing! Look how much fun I am! Hey, Lois, ready to go to dinner? Yeah, sure. Just let me grab my purse. Okay, ready. Ooh, on second thought, I got something I gotta do back on Krypton. I thought Krypton was destroyed. I think we should see other people. You'll be a wonderful lover, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, you, you just had a little, uh, something. Oh! Hey, Flood, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Oh, yes! Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian-American. Asian-American. We talking Korean? We talking Thai? We talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any, any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? All right, guys, it's going to be a long night of Border Patrol, so I brought along Michael McDonald to help us out. Yes, they're going to do it for all of us. Yeah, I hired him for the night. Yeah, he costs like two fifty dollars an hour, so don't skip on the conversation. Hour, so don't skip on the conversation. <laughs> that sounds nice. I haven't seen this much denial since John Travolta married Kelly Preston. John, do you take Kelly to be your wife? I totally do. I mean, yeah, yes, absolutely. And I I'm going to do stuff to her, too, like uh, touch her? Yeah, touch her and uh, kiss her and touch her penis. I mean, no, not that, not that. Nanny wanted. No, no, well, that sounds no. like a good job for an immigrant. I've always imagined the most beautiful... Ah! 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 Damn it! Ah! 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 <laughs> Way to leave your DNA immediately. Has this guy never killed kids before? Come on, son. Jeez. <laughs> Ugh, my allergies and everything else. Just terrible. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and sir. Did that bird just call them Jews? Is that were both great. Give him the full 3%. Cheap, 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 cheap. This is why I hate going outside. Well, I hope you got your fill, Peter. Death? Caught him a cheap Jew. <laughs> that was totally worth it. It was even better than the time I stumbled into that fat, lonely women's club. Uh, excuse me, could I get directions to the Providence Civic Center? <laughs> Do you want to eat cake off my ass? No. What kind of cake? Oh. Angel food cake. Well, Rusty, looks like we're going to eat our way out of another jam. No! Wackadoo film director Oliver Stone. And here comes the next float, honoring uninjured veterans. Yeah! We rock! Our wives stayed with us. Yeah! Big fast! We did! Yeah! Hi, I'm Kelly McGillis, and I'm here to talk to you about rape. Ladies, look to your left. Now look to your right. Statistics indicate that both of those men will rape you. Yo! Why is this low-key, like, like, real? I once went to something called the Vagina Monologues because a female friend that I was trying to get inside of that wouldn't let me inside of her at the time until later. I thought it was going to be a play about, about the, about the pub. I get in there, man, and it was a play. It was about pub. 
Well, it was about how dudes just won't stop raping, apparently. Bro, and that is the injury at one point in the play. I was like one of three dudes in there. Right? And so the injury, I'm not like the quietest dude. So they would like say, oh man, is there any dudes in there? Like, and and then they all turned on me and started like talking smack to me like I've taken women's gully holes without their permission before. I'm like, that's not how that works. That's like me getting robbed by a chick. And then every chick I run into is like, you are a thief too. Yeah, I know you. That's what you're waiting to do. It was, it was kind of worth it. To, I have to tell you the truth. She was, she was. I'm not going to rape you. I might. Hey, then why oh. are there so many bottles? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm still on the fence. Hey. Bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk. It's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Oh, I've seen that clip before, but it doesn't make it any less disgusting. Oh. Hey, you guys notice how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. In anticipation of this event, we put together a clip package featuring some of Billy's work for Channel 5 News. What? said the very hungry caterpillar but you've already you ready what's that i thought we'd try that lobster place we passed in the car yeah can i just uh, finish watching this you can watch tv anytime i'm starving lana this is going to be a real long trip if you don't knock off the crap love you peter what brings you here hi mom hey uh, there's a new What's really funny is with super duper bad females, like it looked like that cartoon woman was, you got to treat them like that, yo. Because like if you treat them like y'all are on equal terms or like you care or love her or any of that, they start to overstep the lines and become disrespectful, usually only in front of their friends or whatever. I don't, it's weird. I had that happen to me. Like, Recently, don't get it twisted. I, I, I checked the hell out of her. You know what I'm saying? Not physically. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, okay, well, you know, I, I like you and whatnot. So there's no reason for me to like tell you to shut the fuck up. There's no reason for me to ignore you and not want to be around you or whatever. It's crazy because like, you know what I mean? That chick is super duper bad. After she did that, you know, like I stopped talking to her as much or whatever. And when I did talk to her, I had to set her straight. Like, yo, if you can't handle yourself at my crib in a respectful manner, then you not allowed to see me. You know what I mean? But before that, it was like, she didn't even want to come over and you know what I mean? Like, like back shots or nothing. Like, you know what I mean? But like, after I checked her, then it was like, oh snap, man, I want to come see you. We can to come see you, blah, blah, blah. I swear, bro. And it's, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a dropper. Honestly, like, I'm probably going to end up dropping her. I, I, it's too much work. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Chick is super duper bad. Like, Supermodel bad, but that's shit. Any of y'all of the dudes out there have had that happen? It's like the badder the chick, the more respect she loses for you if you're nice to her. Or the less appreciative she is of how nice or how cool of a person you are to her. Because I don't like being mean to women I talk to. Not, that doesn't make sense for me. But I also have no problem like letting a female know where she really stands. And that is outside at the bus stop. When you treat a chick like crap, she treats you like you like a, a king. 
I am not doing that, Glenn. You're a sick man. Hey, keep it down. I don't want my neighbors seeing a fat old dirty whore screaming at me on my front lawn. Well, maybe I should come inside. Well, maybe you should. Because if you ain't got respect, you don't get mouth sex. And that wasn't supposed to rhyme, but it did, and it's true. I need my mouth to penis resuscitation. We're going to edit that out. Policy at work where everyone has to prove they're an American, and I need my birth certificate. Oh, oh dear. Peter, sit down. I don't know how to tell you this, but you weren't born in America. You were born in Mexico. What? And you were born oh. right there. Born in America. You were born in Mexico. What? And you were born right there. You were so beautiful, and I loved you. History's largest bowel movement occurred in 1998 at a Hardee's in Memphis by Aretha Franklin. Damn, I owe Chris five bucks. Chris, you were right, it was 98. Grim news from Daytona, Florida, where the remains of three female college students were found near a local nightclub. Reports suggest that all three were violated sexually before being brutally murdered. Oh, man, see that? Everybody's getting laid but me. <laughs> what the f***? My evening. Oh, my God. This just in, 17 people were brutally raped in an apartment building and then killed and sodomized over and over, tortured to death and then buried alive and left to die with little to no oxygen. It's like, oh man, everybody's getting laid but me, man. This is not fair. Like, I... Hey, Peter. Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. <laughs> oh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Peter, take that thing off. Hey, what the hell's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I have had about enough of you, Jerome. I know you want my wife, but you can't have it. You are no longer welcome in my house. What you talking about, Peter? <laughs> but you can't have sex with Lois. I own four apartment buildings. Mm. I have central air. Oh. And a well-funded 401k. You know, these things actually have been scientifically proven to make the coochie go woo-woo. Woo-woo. That's real. Don't ask me why I why why that's the specific thing that the coochie does, but I I just know for a fact that it that, that stuff makes the coochie go woo-woo. I'm not the one who made up that sound effects. So don't even, you know what I mean, treat me like I did this. this is... Oh, we are going to have sex at some point. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Bruh, so there you have it. The funniest Family Guy compilation, yeah. I told you I was gonna be... If we can't make Meg popular, we can at least find her a boyfriend. No, no. Neil, can you come out? We need to talk to you. I can't open the door. It's the Sabbath. You can come around the back entrance. <sighs> Why are all the lights off? I can't turn them on myself. It's the Sabbath. Get the lights for me, will you? Also, can you pick up the phone and order me a pizza? I can't do it. It's the Sabbath. Listen, Neil, we really wanted to talk about Meg. That can wait. I've just looked at some porn, and I need you guys to give me some assisted relief. I can't no. do it myself. It's no. the Sabbath. No. Okay, this, this is starting to sound a little weird. It's not weird. It's Jewish. No. I can't believe we did all that, and he still turned us down. I know. And also, Brian, it's Thursday. Oh. Yeah, well...
dude, you way better of a friend than me. You know what I mean? That somebody pull their balls out, like, hey man, hook me up. I got you. Hmm? You want you want some more hookup? Peed in the D. I meant punched in the dick, but peed in the D don't sound good. It don't. We're gonna edit that out. Well, I am officially out of ideas. Yes, there's literally brunch. no one in town sad and desperate enough to date my sister. Hey guys, can you hold my phone and point it over this way? I want to live stream my suicide. Yeah, sure, Kevin. You know what it is, Stewie? It's a selfishness. It's an inability to look out and see someone who needs no. someone. It's, it's no. just, it's a lack of empathy. Can you make sure I'm totally in the frame? Yeah, I'm not a pro, you get what you get. Anyway, what oh. is wrong with people that they're so myopic and just preoccupied with their own little lives? Is it on? It's whatever it was when you handed it to me. The point is, there's someone out there for everyone if they're just willing to open their eyes and look. Wait a second. Don't you see, Brian? Oh my God, you're right. Kevin, before you go through with this, would you consider taking Meg out for a date? Meg? Why? Look, we know you've had a hard road ever since you came home from Iraq. Well, this could be a chance for you to help someone else who maybe feels as bad inside as you do. Okay, I'll ask her out. Great! Call her tomorrow. Tonight she's doing the fall play. It's a one-woman performance of hair. Shut the sunshine into where? What? Should have called it too much hair. <laughs> I finished the book. I don't like that shit. I ain't like that shit at all. Right, Brian, here comes Meg. Now don't let on that we had anything to do with Kevin asking her out. Relax, I know how to keep my cool. You guys! I'm going out with Kevin Swanson. Get out of here. Brian, why are your hands on your hips? Turn it down a notch. Yeah, he asked me out. Totally out of the blue. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Get your hand off your cheek, you miss. <laughs> Stewie, I still don't understand why we have to pretend to work at the restaurant. It's all Bye. part of the plan, Brian. Meg and Kevin need to have the perfect date. That's why I gave the rest of the staff the night off. We have to Holy be in total control of the evening. Homie is always a female. I'm sorry, we have nothing under that name, and we're all full. Oh, I... Uh, actually, I think a table just opened up. Right this way. What the hell? Sorry, I choked. Hi, we're the Hollander rehearsal dinner. There are 46 of us. Uh, Stewie, before you gave the staff the night off, did you check the reservation book? I did not. And to remind you, 24 of us selected the salmon, 16 the filet, and 6 vegetarian. One vegan. Five vegetarian, one vegan. What do we do? Just keep giving them crayons until we figure it out. More appetizer? No thanks. Hell yeah, more appetizer, bro. They got cheesy bread. Man, I swear to God, dude, I be going to like these Italian restaurants and I be getting the cheesy bread. And then it's not dining and ditching if you don't eat the main entree. Get the bread basket and roll out. It's good to dine and dish from time to time. Keeps you humble, you know? Cauliflower gives me the scoots. What is the scoots? Do I want to know what the scoots is? I was really starting to like this job. It was nice interacting with intelligent people. I usually hang out with an idiot. Brian, Brian, check it out. I made a water slide in no. the house. No! <laughs> Ah, no, there you go. Ow, no. I'm not gonna call the hospital because he won't learn anything if I do. I was actually thinking that. Trying to be like, I wouldn't have called. I wouldn't have helped. I wouldn't have called the police. Nope. I wouldn't have called an ambulance. No, let him learn. Well, kids, I'll see you later. Pardon me, is this first period English? I'm your new teacher, Mrs. Lockhart. Oh my god, I'm in love. Watch out for the stairs! Ah! 
Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Lockhart. I graded your quizzes from yesterday. Most of you did well. Some of you, I think, can do better. What do you see? I love how she pulls everything out of her titties. She know what she's doing. She know what she's doing. Yeah, Chris. Two D's and an F. Dad, I need some advice. I need to know how to get a girl to like me. Ah, oh, Chris, buddy, there's a million ways to do that. You just gotta do something simple, like Vincent Van Gogh. Ooh, it's... What is this? It's my ear. Do you like it? Y you, don't, you don't like it? No, I like it. But it's just... Why your ear? Because I love you. Well, at least this will be a funny story to tell our kids someday. Oh, you want kids? Ugh, yikes. Uh, I wish you'd told me that before I got you this. It's my dick in a box. Dick in a box, girl. Ooh. Oh, did I hear my big boy say he's got a crush on some lucky girl? Oh, you know, Chris, I knew this day would come, so I brought you a condom. Use it wisely, though. It wasn't easy to obtain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, give that back. Oh man. Now, where were we? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is much better. Chris, honey, the way to win a girl is to do something romantic and unexpected. No. Mm -mm. Don't listen to that. Mm -mm. Hey, hey, remember the naked spaceman, Lois? Oh, yeah, you remember the naked spaceman. <laughs> <laughs> On my 25th birthday, your father surprised me by showing up in nothing but a space helmet and moan boots. <laughs> <laughs> it just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> you want some tang, Mr. Spaceman? Oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> just remember, fat man, those jugs are mine until the milk dries up. Then you can have the remains. So basically what Orwell was saying was, it's not perfect, but I'll take it. All right, moving on. Sorry I'm late, Mrs. Lockhart. Oh my God, Chris, what are you doing? Being romantic. For the first time, I'm literally lost on words. I don't, I don't. Has this worked before for him? Can unexpected. Chris, you can't be so impulsive. People have gotten into a lot of trouble that way. Uh, Marie? 